Hey YouTube, Mr. Edo8449 here, and it's time for the Engage video that I mentioned I'd be doing this weekend. Um, I was hoping to give you an update. Unfortunately, I got back and suddenly realised I had no PVA glue anywhere. I've completely run out. Um, so I was unable to do any work, but what I did do was uh, work out where I'm going to place everything that I brought in my um, review video. I showed you what I brought as well. Uh, and uh, I'm going to I'm gonna show you where I'm going to place it all and then I'm also going to do a running of those two coaches I showed you in that review so I hope you have to see everything but if you remember I brought some telegraph poles uh, those sets there they're just black uh, brown plastic as well as that I brought some white metal uh, fences so the fences to start with are very simply going to run here um, I hope you can see this I'm trying to yeah they're going to run from the middle of the bridge, round the side of the um, of the tree here, down the edge, all the way down to the bottom here, where it's then going to turn along and come back along here. Uh, and I believe I've also got enough to split this field in half, so I'm going to put one fence running across the middle there, split this into two paddocks, and I can have animals and stuff in there if I want. Um, now I've got two gates and two... Um, pedestrian gates as well in the kits so I'm going to place those in place as well and make it like a then I'm going to build like a walkway path sort of running up besides the layout uh, with a couple of people on it um, and I think that will look really good so those are going to sort of sit on the edge here mainly on this section here if I have enough left I will also be putting a little fence on this bit here um, just where the green meets the uh, browny grey colour here uh, to separate off this particular bit of grass from the walkway and uh, car park area that sort of stuff now these poles here I've got uh, one two three uh, four that stand alone and then I've got two double sorry eight that stand alone and then I've got two double ones here and here I'm actually going to cut these double ones to make them standalone ones so I've got a maximum of uh, t um, what's that one two three four five six twelve I've got a maximum of twelve now I'm not going to use twelve because that would be far too cramped on here but I'm going to these are the telegraph poles my plan is to have them running from uh, this side of the layout and then they're going to cross over onto the other side of the layout and have one more that comes to the front edge. So they're going to run sort of from um, middle of this side of the tree here. hope you can just about see that in the shot. It's then going to come down about halfway down the grass about here. Then there's going to be one somewhere around this area here. There'll be one over here. Uh, then there'll be one here and one there. Um, so I'm going to use I'm going to use a maximum of one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to use a maximum of six um, of these here on this particular layout. I'm actually going to go and work out how far away they should be in real life because if they need to be 20 centimeters apart, then uh, then I'm going to need quite a few more of these. But if they can be 40 centimeters apart, then I've got absolutely enough here. So I'm going to work out the real scale uh, and then work them on. And then I'm going to try my best to find some way of adding wire between these poles just to give it uh, another feature of realism. So that's the update that I'm planning, the update that I will be doing when I get round to it. I just, that's a Christmas project when I go buy more glue and so on. So I'm going to leave those there. So we're now going to do a little running video. Um, I'm not going to move the camera to be honest. Basically the thing is I'm quite rushed here to make the videos all in time as you know I've got a lot going on this weekend, quite a lot of videos and so on. I've still got to make one more so apologies that this is going to be uploaded on Monday. There's nothing I can do tonight because uh, I'm driving back to uni and so on. So this will be uploaded on Monday, so it's going to be a long weekend. <laughs> That'll be right. so hopefully you'll be able to get just some shots of it running. Uh, she's going to pull the coaches. Uh, I might move onto the wagons and stuff as well. So here we go. Sorry if I go in front of the camera, but I'll probably get to the... Now, I haven't cleaned the track as well, so she might die at one point. Uh, if she does, apologies about that. There we go. I think it's going to be a lot of pushing because just because of the uh, uh, what we're doing. There we go. As I said, I haven't been able to find my trap rubber to clean it quickly, so it might be a little bit jerky. But oh well, it's just nice to see something running. So as you can see, those two coaches are uh, quite a nice length actually for the station. Let's get the 
camera, there we go. But as you can see, this, the, the station is big enough to have three coaches in there, which is why I planned it too. So hopefully this will end up being a three coach station. When I find a third coach in this design, I will buy it and I'll have my first full break for this particular layout. So let's bring her back. Obviously that little bit of track that needs a good clean. Uh, I'm going to lean in front of the camera. Just to say the point mechanism I'm using is working really well still. It's really good. Oh, we've come off. I said the point's correct. Have I done that? Sorry, I feel like I changed the points I didn't need to, so they've derailed. There we go. So I'll reverse it back now into the siding, uh, and then I'll change to a little freight train. So I might just swing the camera around to a different angle slightly. There we go. <laughs> of course I say that and then immediately the train derails. So there you have it, um, a little tiny running video just of the uh, models running around. You saw how, um, well, I didn't pause the camera this time, normally I'd pause it and edit out all the, um, you know, when locos derail and things like that. Um, to be honest, to be absolutely honest with you, I'm just far too rushed to be able to do that. Uh, I apologise so much about that, I really wanted to do this properly but I've just had so much going on this weekend that um, I haven't been able to find 20 minutes or an hour or so to make the videos properly so I hope that sort of uh, gave you a little insight, the track is running perfectly, it just needs to be cleaned um, and I just could not find my track rubber, I cannot find it where it's somewhere, really obvious but I just cannot see it so really apologies about that, if I had had time to track rubber it would have worked absolutely fine um, it derailed over there um, the point hadn't gone properly, um, so both of these coaches derailed when I pulled them over it or pushed them over it. Uh, when the loco went through it, it managed to push the point across by itself fine, so it's working now. Um, so I just think it's just needs a bit of moving there. So thanks for watching. Again, apologies about the uh, video being a bit rushed and everything, but I hope that was a, a little look at the updates and so on.